Uh, I just want to say a few things. First of all, uh, it's such a pleasure to see Sister Mabel come in. Good work. I, I, want, I really want her to understand just how much she means to us. Yeah. Um, I uh, first got familiar with Robert Williams. Uh, I was a student at Highland Park Community College back in 1962 and 63. I think my first crusader I saw might have been down at Deb's Hall or over at the Vaz's house, center on, on uh, with Grace and Jim. Me and Charles Simmons and John Williams, uh, we worked together in a little group called Yahoo. And we got the Crusader and started reading it. And I had an apartment, and we would get together at my apartment and tune in on Radio Free Dixie, broadcasting from Cuba. And you got to understand what that meant to me. Uh, Mabel would come on with a commentary, and then Rob would break in hollering, white man's nigger no more, and the truth crushed to the earth show. <laughs> Boy, boy, can you imagine that? 1963. I mean, I, I can't get nobody blowing like that on the radio today. So I'm just trying to give you a feeling of what Rob meant. What Rob meant to the movement. We got an opportunity to go to Cuba uh, in 1964, and Charles went with me. Charles Simmons here with us today. And uh, I know one of the main things they ask you, what you want to go to Cuba for? And the main thing we had on there, we want to meet Robert Williams. <laughs> well, Robert was a Cuban. Right. Robert sat us down, we met Robert, uh, Mabel, and the, and the kids down in Cuba. They were young kids then, nine and 10 years old. And uh, Rob would tell us, he said, listen, uh, I don't want y'all to go around spouting a lot of theory that you don't really know. <laughs> uh, Rather spend your time talking to people about what they don't know. And what they don't know is the hell your people catching back at home. So spend your time doing that. And that's what we did. And my goodness, it worked too, because you went to the Indonesian embassy. We went to all these embassies and people wanted to ask us about life back home, because they had a lot of stool pigeons out there on the radio, on radio, uh, radio Free America, telling lies about how well we was living back home. You know, so we was able to break that thing open. We talked to the Indonesians and the Koreans and everybody we could get to uh, telling them about our life back home and we leave there in crying sessions. Uh, so hurt by what they learned about our flight here at home. So that's what Robert meant to me. And I'm so glad that y'all gonna get a chance to see the Robert Williams story. Because uh, it's a story that you need to see. You can't, you know, sometimes you can't tell people something until you get a podium yes. from which to speak. Yes. If you tell them that, they think you're lying until conditions arise. So now you've got a podium and you can see this for yourself. So it's so important. Robert accomplished more in one life than most folks do in three. <laughs> Just so happy to be young people here and everybody here can see the Robert Williams story. All right.